10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. July 16th, 1969. A day that is still remembered almost 54 years later for one notorious thing. This is the day that Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins launched into space for arguably the greatest space mission of all time, Apollo 11. Apollo 11 is the most famous space mission in history, making it arguably the biggest frontier in space travel ever. It all started during the Cold War of the United States and the Soviet Union, which eventually led up to the space race. The space race, starting sometime in 1957, was basically an idea of advancing into superior space flight, basically to have technological advantage over the other, which was seen as a necessity for national security, especially in a time like the Cold War. On May 25th, 1961, the U.S. president at the time, John F. Kennedy, set a goal to land a man on the moon and return him safely to the Earth by the end of the decade. This goal at the time may have seemed far-fetched and silly to some people, but this speech is so special because it marks where this entire mission started. To meet the following national goals. First, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long range exploration of space. And none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. With a goal like this set, the US needed a rocket ship like none ever built before. Something like the Saturn V the Saturn V was, and still is to this very day, the most powerful ship to have ever flown, which is remarkable for any ship, but especially one built in the 1960s. Not only has it taken astronauts to and from the moon six different times, but also hauled America's first space station into orbit around the Earth. It can also supposedly propel the weight of about four school buses to the moon, which is equivalent to about 70,000 pounds. Or about 288 Donald Trumps. My sincere apologies out to you, Mr. Trump, if you're for some reason watching this. Anyways. Most famously... The Saturn V rocket also launched these three men into space. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins all had great responsibilities with an even greater goal, landing on the moon. Now with the ship built, all they had left to do was assign roles. First, Neil Armstrong, the most famous of the three, the commander of the mission, most notably, the first man to ever walk on the moon. He also piloted the lunar module, which is the first part of the Saturn V to actually land on the moon to a safe landing. Next, Buzz Aldrin, the main pilot of the lunar module. He was also the second man to ever walk on the moon. Finally, Michael Collins, the man who piloted the command module. Even though he didn't walk on the moon, his job was still very important. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin would not have made it to the moon and possibly would not have made it home without him. So, although he didn't walk on the moon, he is still very important to the mission. He was to stay in lunar orbit while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were on the moon. Now all that was left to do was execute their plan which they did so on July 16th, 1969. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. 
And finally, on July 20th, 1969, they landed on the moon and planted an American flag on the surface in what was an important victory and end to the space race. When he first walked on the moon, Neil Armstrong was quoted saying, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Which was so true because that mission inspires scientists to this day to see just how far we can take space travel. And as a conclusion to this journey to the moon and back, all three men landed safely in the Pacific Ocean and were later picked up by a helicopter called the USS Hornet.